Well, we're so excited because Corey's back. Tan, and rested and ready. Yes, and he's checking out the Arizona Fine Art Expo in North Scottsdale. I wish the tan part were happening, uh. but uh, you're right. Uh, and good to be back with you guys. Uh, we're at the Fine Art Expo, as you said. I love the variety of art that we're showing here. This is a dimensional painting. I know, isn't it amazing? It's a painting, but when you get to, to, the, uh, to the side of it, you can see the 3D look. Uh, there's so many great options here. And we're about to meet uh, someone from the very visual end of things, a glass blower. And I'm always fascinated by glass blowing. And by the way, the Fine Art Expo runs through the 25th of March. That's a Sunday. And you can watch artists at work like this guy over here. We're going to meet Greg Tome. And uh, Greg, look at his stuff. It's so gorgeous. I love the, uh, the billions of options when it comes to glass. It's so beautiful, and it's an ancient art, of course. And uh, Greg, I'm going to be over here where it's safe. Uh, but uh, <laughs> tell, good idea. tell me, uh, you could be doing anything. What, what appeals to you so much about glass and, and this art? Glass has always been appealing to me just because it's so dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, the possibilities are endless. They really the draw are. draw to the heat. You know, there's this glow. There's something kind of just magical about it, that you're taking something from a liquid and turning it into a solid. Yeah. I love the transparent qualities of glass, how mm -hmm. light comes through it. When somebody takes a piece of my work home, they're not just putting it on their wall, it's inviting all the light that's all around it, you gotcha. know, and it kind of affects the entire space that it's yeah. in. Yeah, so uh, w w w what point in your process are you right now with this particular piece? So I've put some color on the outside of a glass bubble, mm -hmm. and I'm melting it in. I've shaped it a little bit. I've inflated it a bit. When I come out, I'm going to work my way back to the bench and I'm going to use uh, the hand tools, or specifically the jacks, the long um, metal tool that looks like a big set of shears over there. And I'm going to make a constriction between the bubble and the blowpipe. And that's going to be where the bubble or the piece eventually breaks free from. So right now, it's starting to move around a bit. See that? we got about uh, 30 seconds left. I know you can't uh, cool. show us everything, but I love this part of the operation. So what I'm doing right now is entirely what my students will do. Mm -hmm. So I'll use these hand tools to shape and create their very own glass to take home with them. And you are running classes as well, right? Exactly, yeah. I'm out here, I have a glass blowing studio with the aid of uh, Canyon State Propane. I got this fire running, students coming out, making their own glass. Here comes the blowing part. Now that's amazing. Remember, exhale only. That's right, <laughs> yeah, you wanna blow into the glass, make it get a little bit bigger. Boy, and then boy. the metal is shaping it and cooling it. And again, this is all what my students will do and have been doing. That white shelf over there is full of the students' work, the snowmen, the bowls, the pumpkins. You can sign up online from the uh, Arizona Fine Art Expo website or from my website and come out and try to make glass yourself. Look at that, Greg Tome, everybody. Uh, come learn from an absolute expert love what they do out here and again you can see all kinds of art in many many media uh, right before your very eyes it's just one of the best things happening in arizona this time of the year so more coming your way from the fine art expo we'll see you two again in just a couple of minutes that's, that's so cool i could watch that all day long. right yeah hmm. Good thanks Cor. see you in a bit Cor. Corey is checking out the Arizona <clears throat> Fine Art Expo up in North Scottsdale. Mm -hmm. A lot of cool stuff up there, Core. Look at those horses. Love this. Uh, it's so pretty. Everything is gorgeous, of course. And uh, these artists, each has his own or her own medium. And this is one of the most colorful. John Burrow is his name. And his art is just so full of life and color. And boy, he's uh, just one of the nicest guys you're going to meet as well. And speaking of nice... Judy Long is with us, uh, Pride of the Valley, and thank you so much for sharing this uh, beautiful world with us year after mm. year. Uh, how, for those who've never been, what do you tell people happens under this huge well, tent? You can come and see artists working in every medium. Here's a studio right yes, here. Uh -huh. Working and um, producing artwork and making uh, jewelry and uh, various things, and it's just wonderful. The camaraderie is fabulous, and the artists 
are so talented. We're just very lucky. And all nice folks. They love They're sharing great. their oh, art. they do. And we're open till the 25th, we're open right? We're till the 25th. We're on the southwest corner of Joe Max and Scottsdale Road. Please come and see us and come often. Well, we're looking at the work now of Scott Shangra. He works in wood but uh, not your average wood. He takes f found pieces of uh, very, very uh, beautiful wood in the raw and turns it into these beautiful sculptures. In fact, we've got him working out here right now. There he is. Now, I don't even know how this is accomplished. This is a guy with a chainsaw. Scott, let me ask you something. Usually this is the kind of thing that starts uh, on a dare. <laughs> or something like that. What was the inspiration for what you do? Well, I like to capture the freeform movements of the wood, so the only way to really do it is by carving it versus mm -hmm. putting it on a lathe or something. Yeah. So carving allows me to use what nature is already cut. Tell me about this piece of, of wood. Where did it come from? From uh, New Mexico, the mountains of New Mexico. And what and is it? A, it's a burl which grows at the base of a tree. Mm -hmm. So when it gets all finished, there'll be a lot of character and grain. To and it. what's the wood? It's a burl, box elder burl. Box elder. Uh -huh. It looks like a wart that would yeah, be at the base is. of the it's tree. It's like right? growth at the tree. It's a deformity, but that's what gives you all the grain and the character. All right, well, you get to it. Uh, we're going to talk with uh, your wife, Stephanie, as, uh, as uh, Scott continues to work. How long does it take him to go from what we're seeing now to one of those beautiful finished pieces? Uh, it depends on what is involved with the piece, but normally between the two of us uh, and uh, working on a piece, we'll have about a week to go. Uh -huh. So his carving, then I inlay and sand and finish. So normally about a week, depending on how difficult the, the wood is. Uh, well, I love the, the whole idea is just so fantastic, and we're looking at one of this your pieces is a up box close. Elder Burl. Mm -hmm. So this is what that wood will look like when he gets all done with it. Boy, it is that just, is beautiful, it's it? pretty from every angle, no matter exactly. where you put it. Exactly. Well, thanks for sharing your talents well, thank with you, us, the Corey. two of you. Thank Come you. see the Shangras and all of the other artists here at the Fine Art Expo. Again, we're running through March 25th. That's a Sunday. And uh, where can we get tickets as we wrap up? Uh, tickets are at the door. You can get them online as well ten dollars for adults and eight dollars for seniors for as often as you'd like to come you're giving it away judy thank you so much uh, come see us uh, remember southwest corner of uh, joe max and scottsdale road see you guys neat fun yeah. thanks